Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today's episode number 102. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go, another day. So it's another day, another day of streaming. We're going to be doing a uh, recording three episodes today. We obviously only did half of the uh, world tour the last time. I haven't even edited the last stream to be honest. So uh, by the time we're finished with today, I'm going to have six videos to edit. Which I am going to have to check how many videos I've got on YouTube at the moment. Whether I edit them tonight or do it tomorrow. I might just end up doing them tonight and just vibing to some tunes. Because... <laughs> no, one more ad. You will watch the adverts. Unless you subscribe, in which case you don't have to watch them. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, your adverts are very conveniently placed for you that you'll never be interrupted. Except for the really longer races. <laughs> but most of the time, adverts are placed in pretty decent positions for you. So, you don't have to worry too much on YouTube. Twitch, on the other hand, Twitch doesn't calculate that, unfortunately, so you have to run automatic ads every... Well, I can either run a minute of ads every 20 minutes or 30 seconds of ads every 10 minutes, which is a shame. There's obviously a lot less ads on Twitch than there are on YouTube, but I mean, if I want to get paid from advertising at all, I need to have them on. Unfortunately. Cause I'm dancing. This planet's has to defend. Ain't got no time to pretend. If you want to change the world, do it while you're single. Once you're married, you can't even change a television channel. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> That's so good. I love that one. Should to be who they wanted to see. Just keep the party with me and never go home. You better go home. This can only mean one thing, it's laundry day. <laughs> it can either mean one of, one of two things, it's either laundry day or it's your birthday. But your birthday was two weeks ago, so it must be laundry day. <laughs> Let's get up and go. They wanted to see get the party with me and never go home. <laughs> yeah, Lost, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Get up and go. And never go home. Oh, do you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't removed those um, bot follows from the last stream of last week. 
Was that last stream or was it Wednesday's stream? I'm not sure. They've been there for a while though, so. I'll have to have a look on Commander Route and see what that says. Oh shit. Didn't slow down enough for the corner. If I die to bring this down to me. Oh, in due time. Three days! Agreed to never go to bed angry with each other so far, we've been up for three days. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh wow, uh, I've... <laughs> That's interesting. strange. Orbit's been flagged as a bot on Commander Route. I'm gonna have to tell him. He's been flagged up as a bot. It's crazy. Oh, this is a tune. <laughs> Shut up, Aaron. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Not funny. Bop. Don't leave me. I want you here with me. I know that your love is gone. This is a tune. I'm not a fan of the original, but like the actual remixes of this song, some of them are fucking cracking, like this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> We're going 120 miles an hour. As long as I'm sorry. Well, it should say in the corner of the screen what it is. No. It's called Love Is Gone. That's what the songs are actually called. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm right. No, you're not. <laughs> it literally says in the top corner of my stream what the song's called. That's why I put it there, so people know what they're listening to. So they don't have to ask. What song is this? Meg, do you know what song this is? It's right in the top right fucking corner. Open your damn eyes. <laughs> How many ads do you have? I've got the minimum that Twitch requires you to get the higher up. Thingy. And to get... The higher, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to publicly say what is on Twitch. Because normally you're not allowed to say what Twitch earnings are on Twitch, and you're not allowed to say YouTube earnings on YouTube, so. But you can say them on different platforms. I can tell you right now on. Actually, no, I can't because this is going to YouTube, so. That's a good shout. Forgot about that. Almost said about my YouTube. <laughs> YouTube earnings. Can't say it. Because it's being recorded and I'd have to bleep it out and edit it out and I can't be arsed. Um, but yeah, the, basically you, Twitch has now three bands. Uh, sorry, two bands of like revenue. So their old revenue split, I think I'm allowed to say, was 10% approximately. Something like that. The new one is... Because I... I'm 99% sure this is public information anyways. The new one is 30% if you're under 3 minutes of ads every hour. And if you're above it, it's 55%. Which is almost double the amount of ad revenue. Plus, obviously, the increase in ad revenue for running more ads as well. So, it just... As much as I don't want to run that many ads, I also realise I kind of have to. Because um, especially with sub revenue going down quite a lot lately, um, I'm sort of needing to recuperate somewhere else. Uh, and obviously, funding the Twitch channel, there's only so much I can fund myself to keep the channel going. Most of it is relied on by donations and stuff like that. Um, but at the moment, because we're doing a lot of the Forza stuff, that's all been funded already, so there's not really a lot that I need to put into to fund that. It's more for other things. Like Need for Speed, for example. I actually can't buy the new Need for Speed and stream that because I don't have the money for it. So I can't fund it myself, so I need to rely on Twitch for that. Also, Fallen Dingo, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. By the way, if you are watching on YouTube, you can press that super thanks button. That will do exactly the same as uh, doing a donation, and it greatly helps support the channels. All right, here we go. Oh, this is Makoto. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Hey, you did not see the stuff I typed. Nah, because most of the time, it is um, some shitty joke, and then saying that, oh, Mech can't do that. <laughs> you know. The jokes get old. After a while, I just tune it out. I've gotten very good at tuning out, Aaron. <laughs> just in general. Let's have a conversation, Aaron. <laughs> Let's have a normal conversation. Let's talk man to man. Or man to person who really, really likes cringy dad jokes. Sorry, apologies, snowflakes, for assuming genders. <laughs> Badass bitch. Whoa, I'm a big. Whoa.
shots, shots, shots. What in the Kentucky Fried Fuck? <laughs> what in all of Alabama was that fucking shit? I've seen some redneck bullshit in my life, but that... That takes the motherfucking biscuit. <laughs> uh, how dare you? How dare you? This terrible Greta Thunberg impression. Whoa. I don't know. I think... I think Greta Thunberg is good. Um, it's just a lot of... I, I do agree. We are in a bit of a climate crisis. The world needs to change. I don't think it's as severe... As people make it out to be. Like, people saying, oh, we've only got 10 years to fix the world. We've only got, like... No. Like, we said the world was dying back in the 70s, and we're still here 50 years later. However, I do think we do have a problem. Maybe in 100, 200 years, it might be bad. And sure, we're not going to be there for that aftermath, but people are going to be there, and we need to fix that. However, I'm also not on their side because a lot of these activists that glue themselves to the road and that do stupid shit to try and get their message across and their message is just fucking stop doing whatever you're doing. Which is a fucking dumb idea. Because first of all, people have lives to live. Sorry. Just because you're socially unaccepted and you need to rely on online communities to do dumb shit like that. So... Um... And beyond that... It's like... By all means, I again, I agree, we shouldn't be using oil. But the whole world runs off of oil. You stop using oil... Um... I mean, the world stops. I can guarantee you, if we stop using oil, stop using coal, and stop using all that stuff to, you know, run the world, I can tell you right now, the internet would cease existing as it is. Like, the internet would stop. Companies like Google wouldn't exist. Well, it's, it, it's quite easy. Um, you don't need to ask me to use that screenshot. <laughs> and even if it was a problem, you can... You, but yeah, you can use it. You don't need to ask to use it. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Get your um, account fixed. It might be worth talking to the developer of the bot as well talking to Commander Root and saying look, my account has been flagged as a bot um, but it isn't I just like doing alerts and stuff like that with mates is there any way I could, you know what, what not, have a word with them because the bot uh, what's it called bot thingy should be fine um, but yeah, going back to the original point, if we don't use oil, what will we use? It's quite easy. The wind farms. The, as much as Elon Musk can be a dick, and as much as Elon Musk is a genius, I'm very much on a middle ground. I don't really care what he does. I'm not like a... I'm not a hater. I'm not a lover of him. I just... You know. He exists. But I do recognise he's a very smart individual. The people that work for him are very smart individuals. And if you fill with enough... I think he said a place the size of Ohio could power the entire world if you run that off solar panels. 
and that would be the entire world's electricity done. That doesn't mean we have to just get rid of Ohio and do that. Like, that's all the space that's needed with solar panels to power the world. That's what he says. So you think, if you have a space like 10% of Ohio, that will power probably the whole of America, the whole of North America. Another 10% of Ohio will do South America, you know, whatnot. Quite easily, we can... We just need the time to get that infrastructure in before we can phase out oil. Like, wind farm is... Honestly, Scotland, right? I know a lot of people hate wind farms. But in the right places, wind farms do look quite beautiful. I think wind farms have a visual appeal. I just think they shouldn't be everywhere. There should be places that don't have wind farms that you can enjoy the beauty without wind farms. And then there should be places with wind farms. Because you can still enjoy beauty with wind farms as long as there's not too many. Um, wind farms are fucking amazing though. They're, they're brilliant because they can run 24-7. They can run it during the night and they can run during the day. Solar only works during the day. Um, tidal power, so sort of like aqua turbines that basically go based off of the tide. Work day and night, but they only work in time with the moon, pretty much. So only while the tide's going up or while it's going down. But again, that's a way. You can have... Um, Aqua dams. That's not what they're called. The turbines that are in the dams. Basically, as they regulate water going through the dam to make sure it doesn't overflow or it doesn't, you know, flood the land below. Turbines in those. Gen there's so many ways you can generate electricity. There's even companies that are making, like, tiles in floors that can generate electricity. And sure, it might not be enough... It might not be a large enough amount, but when you think somewhere as busy as New York, fill the floor with those tiles, you've powered all the streetlights and stuff like that. And that's all powered off of foot power. People that are walking on the streets. That is power that then doesn't need to be generated through means of coal, means of um, oil, means of gas, you know. Like, there are so many ways of generating electricity that results of some form of kinetic force beforehand. Like, you think about it. Normal, like, electrical generators that use coal are still generators, but the fuel source that spins the turbines are all from just heating up coal and that hot gas spins the turbines. So if they use, instead of hot coal, they just use, you know, actual normal wind to spin those turbines, free electricity. Because the wind just happens. The world just has wind. So give it some time. Like, that's, that's the one thing that these protesters don't realize. By all means, get on with it now. But while companies are trying to move towards a more sustainable, more eco-friendly way of generating electricity, these protests are just pissing people off. And the thing is, who, who does protesting and stopping a road of traffic harm? One, it harms the environment because you've got all these cars on standstill. Two, harms the people that have, like, work to do and shit like that. And three, doesn't even harm the companies that they're trying to protest against. Because the companies just won't care. They'll be like, oh, look, a protest. Well, that doesn't affect us. Let's move on, you know. Coal and fossil fuel fuels are not more efficient. That's the problem. So, the thing is, 
Coal and fossil doesn't regenerate. It's not like wood. If you were to burn wood in that way, you can just generate more. However, with a combination of solar panel and wind power, like solar power and wind power, quite easily can generate a large amount of power. Sure. It might take up an extra 50% of room on the earth compared to normal plants but when it's much healthier for the environment and has very it regenerates over millions of years we'll all be dead by the time it regenerates the amount that it's been it doesn't regenerate slowly over the years like oil has been in the ground for so long but the oil process to make oil is over millions of years so we've got to basically by the time we die oil won't have even regenerated you know i like trees that do actually generate fairly substantially all right continue topic yeah so obviously coal just isn't an efficient way neither is oil Neither is gas, neither is fuel. You know what? Uh, what mic have you got? What mic have you got, Harry? I think as well, hydrogen power should become a thing. Because there's two types of engines that you could use when you've got a hydrogen-powered car. You can have either um, combustion engine or fuel cell, right? Neither of them produce any emissions for... Um, hey, not bad. Neither of them produce emissions for the environment, whether you use it as a fuel cell or a combustion engine, but you get the choice of whether you want an electric vehicle that's powered by hydrogen, or you can have the choice of a... Um, what's it called? A combustion engine powered by hydrogen. Sure, the trade off of using combustion engine is that um, it's not as fuel efficient, it uses a lot more fuel. But when that fuel being burnt, it doesn't matter how much you burn of it, it's still better for the environment. You know. It's a great idea. But the thing is, companies just... Like, Toyota is the only big one that's actually pushing for hydrogen-powered vehicles. And I think Kia, Nissan, um, Tesla, all of them, even if they're focusing on fuel cell more than combustion engine, they need to focus on hydrogen power. Because that's just a much more efficient way. Of storing electricity. And like more convenient. Rather than sitting there for half an hour at, to an hour waiting for your car to charge. You sit there for five to eight minutes refueling your car. It's a much more convenient way. By the time you've gone into the services and come out with whatever your car's refueled kind of thing do you say you've ordered a Corsair headset okay I wouldn't ever recommend it myself to be honest I must keep moving, I must keep moving. How much did you spend on it? Because if it's under 50 quid, then that's not too bad. It's jungle, jungle. 55. Uh, pushing it. Pushing it. <laughs>
Because when it comes to, um... I, I always recommend... I'm just not a fan of headsets that are aimed for gamers because they're not good for gaming. They're very rarely good for gaming. Um, they're normally aimed towards, especially a younger audience of gamers that just aren't as tech savvy. And it's like, oh look, it's for gamers. It must be good for gaming. Headsets are not like, yeah, Turtle Beach is a great example. Turtle Beach is amazing if you've got like, if you spend, want to spend like 10, 15 quid on a headset that works in your Xbox, it's fine. But if you're actually looking for a proper gaming headset, you, like, the best gaming experience, <coughs> oh, the best gaming experience you're ever going to get is with a proper set of headphones that designed with good audio in mind. Good audio design is what should be focused on. Something like a pair of Bose, a pair of Sony's, something like that. Because if you're actually thinking about gaming, you don't... Like, you're not going to use... Sure, maybe on a... Uh, what's it called? Um, on an Xbox, you have to have a headset because they don't support USB microphones. But if you're on a PlayStation or a PC, you get an external mic and a standalone pair of headphones because that way you get the best audio. These headphones are killer for racing games and um, music specifically because they're bass boosted. And like they're tuned for extra bass so that way the highs don't distort when you have really bassy sounds. Because that's what you get with a lot of, uh, especially cheaper headphones, when they're not tuned right for bass and they just say, you know, when they say bass boosted, they just turn up the bass most of the time but they're not actually that good. And you hear a lot of the time the higher sounds get extremely distorted. So as the bass comes in, like explosions and that, it just ruins everything else. These ones are tuned specifically for bassy music. So that way, higher up sounds don't get distorted and you hear like everything. And these aren't gaming headphones. But these are better than any gaming headset I have ever used. Even over Bluetooth they're still better than any gaming headset that I've used that's been wired. So. <sighs> Total Beaches, again, they're good for the price because they are super cheap. Like, they are ridiculously cheap. If you literally have no money, they're all right. And they're more favoured towards Xbox people because Xbox needs a gaming headset with a microphone attached to it. But if you're using something, say, I don't know, a PlayStation and you want the best audio from like your PS PS5 games, get yourself a headset like this because you plug this in, plug it in with a wire into the controller and then turn on 360 audio in the PS5 settings, it sounds exactly the same as a Pulse headset, even better sometimes. Because you can get through... Like, this supports 360-degree audio, this headset. The only difference is the Pulse can be used wirelessly on the PS5. This one has to be used wired. But this one can be used on other devices. And it looks better. I totally don't play on Xbox. <laughs> it, is, it is difficult on Xbox because Xbox just refused to support USB devices. Um, they support USB webcams, but they don't support USB microphones, which baffles me. This seems like the most backwards thing in the world. But, um, yeah. I always, personally, myself, will recommend a standalone microphone and a standalone headset, but, like, headphones. No microphone included. 
Like, obviously, this has a Bluetooth mic, but that's, like, for phone calls and shit. It's terrible quality. If I'm ever using, like, Discord, this is the microphone I'm using, not my headphones. A pair of proper headphones are always, always better than gaming headsets. And that's why I hate, what I hate about the gaming industry is they're very much tailored towards trying to rip people off. Gaming headsets that are advertised for gaming are not good. <laughs> Fall down. Uh, I I explained earlier that I don't even have enough money for Need for Speed Unbound when it comes to that coming out to play that on stream, so I don't think I've got enough money to buy a PC or a PlayStation. Sorry, man. But if you guys are actually looking for a good Black Friday deal, if you're watching this on YouTube, you fucking missed it. I'm sorry. Boo-hoo. Don't buy a Chromebook, God's sake, Aaron. I will fucking kill you. That's such a stupid comment. Um, if you actually look on Amazon at the moment, I think the Xbox Series X is actually being sold for £190, uh, which is a £60-plus pound discount. I think it's down from 250 so if you're looking for a Series S, that's a really good price for one. Um, I don't, obviously, I don't recommend the Series S unless you literally do not have the money for the Series X or you do not have um, thingy. Do you know what you should do, Aaron? Wipe the operating system on the Chromebook and reinstall it with, um, what's it called? Steam OS. Specific, like Steam Deck OS. If you reinstall that, um, it actually comes with Proton, which allows you to game on Linux. Sucks. Because <laughs> Chromebook is Linux, but it is so shit. Chromebook as a whole, I just hate Chromebooks. Like, I wouldn't have a problem with Chromebooks. I have less of a problem with a MacBook than I do a Chromebook. I would much rather see someone... Oh, look, you got a MacBook. At least you don't have a Chromebook. I bet you like Dell. I prefer Dell. Not the shitty ones that they make. Dell makes some really good laptops. They also make some really shit ones, but... I would much rather have a Dell... Heh, <laughs> funny. I'd rather have a Dell laptop... over a Chromebook any day of the week, because that runs Windows. A much better operating system. Chrome OS is just shit. <laughs> we can't get this party started until we have got the power. Well, yeah, that's kind of like a default feature. Not really a locked out thing. Do you have to pay for Chromebooks in thingy? Because if you have to pay for them, I don't think they should be messing around with admin privileges. Unless you get them given for free. Don't hold me up now. Oh, well, if they're free, that's fair enough, then. I'll let them have a get-out-of-jail-free card. 
I can't stand my own ground. I don't need your help. No, you won't let me down, 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 down. Alright, here we go. 1.8 mil. Let's move on to the Genesis events. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.